Well, you don't need me to tell you that there has been a notable shift in the feel recently from one that was summery a few weeks ago to a more fall-like feel. Of course, this means it's time for bright fall colors, but how does this happen and what role does the weather play? It's almost that time of year again for apple and pumpkin picking, cider donuts, and of course, beautiful fall foliage displays. Well, hopefully. So this is an annual cycle. The one constant is the days get shorter and shorter. The variable though is what the weather is and that could have big impacts on the color of the leaves. It is a delicate formula that goes into seeing the most vibrant color displays, something that Dr. Donald Leopold from the SUNY College of Environmental Science and Forestry knows all too well. What happens from this point on as far as the colors depend on how much more cloudiness we get, how much more rain, um, how cool it gets without being a hard freeze. But the ideal conditions are sunny days and of cool nights that are, you know, hovering around the 30s. Diminishing daylight and cooler temperatures of the fall triggers the process and the trees begin to store nutrients for the winter. All of the chlorophyll produced during the summer, which gives the leaves their green color, is broken down. The result is brighter pigments and colors on leaves, which were still present but masked during the warm season. As Dr. Leopold mentioned, ideal conditions are warm days and cool, crisp nights with minimal wind and no significant rain events. If you can tell me with certainty what the weather will be, um, I can tell you with certainty what the colors will be. Well, this could be a complex equation. Take last year. We had a vibrant display after an unusually dry summer and a good, healthy rainfall in September. 2021 was an overall underwhelming display, likely due to wet conditions in the early fall and not enough cool nights later in the season. So for this year, our wet summer followed by our comfortable and reasonably dry start to September points towards a strong foliage season. But of course, the weather could be unpredictable this time of year, and all it takes is one large wind, rain, heat, or substantial frost event to impact this process. But we will definitely keep our fingers crossed. And I'll bring in Chief Meteorologist Steve LaPointe, who's going to talk about when we typically see our peak fall colors around here. All right, Sam. Yeah, nice job on that. And typically, it's the Adirondacks, the Spine of the Green Mountains, and the Catskills where we'll peak uh, first week in October, roughly. Sometimes that can be early. Sometimes that can be late. Now, we had so much heat in early September, it may have actually kind of slowed the start of things. So this year it may end up being a little bit later than the average time. As you get into mid-October and it's the area shaded in orange. So that's really much of the region. In and around the immediate capital region, back towards the lake shore and point south along the New England coast, it's generally now late October and early November for Long Island, uh, Cape Cod, and the island. So again, average times to kind of make your fall leaf peeping plan and keep in mind we could be running a little bit late, at least at this point, but really weather conditions over the next couple of weeks will play a very strong role in how quickly uh, the colors do occur and how vibrant the leaves will be. It's always beautiful, but some years are better than others. Last year was absolutely spectacular. We'll hope for the same this year. Right